Lucas Sells Vegas here. We're in Las Vegas, of course. I'm in Summerlin today. The sun is shining. It's around 65 degrees a day. It's amazing. We're gonna do a quick market report just to let you know what the stats are and what's going on in Vegas right now. There's 21 days of inventory, which means there's less than one month of homes available for, for people. And that's amazing. Usually a couple years ago, it was um, two to three months inventory available. 21 days of inventory, meaning that the market is very tight and it's a little more difficult to buy a home, but they're still out there. You know, um, the medium market price of first week of January is 430,000. It was 422,000 a few weeks ago, went to 425, now it's 430,000 in the first week of January 2022, which is amazing. The market last year, I believe it went up to 20 to 25%. Across the United States, it went up around 20%, but here in Nevada, it went up around 25% of equity increase in your home, which is uh, incredible and uh, but what we see what we believe is this next year coming forward is probably gonna go up only 5% which is still a good increase year to date year to year you know what they're saying is with these three interest rate hikes coming up um, then it'll probably stable out a little bit and then just plateau we don't see Vegas going down in price necessarily because of Vegas Henderson Pahrump and Nevada area is because we're still below the 2000 2006 level of prices. Other states like Texas, Arizona, Florida, I think they're above their prices from 2006 right now, which it's getting expensive to live there. People from Texas and Arizona that were moving there are deciding to move back to Nevada because Las Vegas and Henderson are still a great value. And prices being lower than the 2006 time, which means that homes aren't possibly going to be going down too much. You know, there could be a little recession in the future, may go down 10%, but if the homes go up 5% in the next year or two, and then go down 10, you're still at the value that you paid for it. So the theory is, is you buy a home when you're ready. So it's always a good investment. I shouldn't say always, but most of the time, 99% it is. I'm gonna take a peek at my notes right here. Yesterday we listed around 76 homes uh, under contract, meaning that put for sale that somebody's buying them. 81 homes, this is the first week of January, we're on the 5th, and closed, 80 homes closed escrow yesterday, which is amazing. Last year we sold every day 139 homes, which was a record. Uh, we may not see that this year, but it'll be pretty close. Um, this first week of January, last year, we sold 193 homes. This year, we've already sold in this past five days, it says 139 homes, which is amazing. Remember, buying a home in Nevada, if your home is 430,000 and you put down 10% and you have an interest rate of 3%, which the interest rates are sticking at 3%, your monthly amount of payment will be under 2,000, $1,973, which is super competitive with the rents right now. The rents in Vegas are around that price for that two, three, four bedroom home or condo that you're gonna rent. So right now is still an amazing time to purchase a home and with the uh, first-time buyers and you know people moving down from that five bedroom home six bedroom home those empty nesters you know left the house and the baby boomers are, are, are buying down which is no problem you know well, too big of a house sometimes is too much to take care of so uh, our medium price is around 430,000 which is still um, is great for any place in the United States Last year we sold $1,600 million homes. This year so far, in the past five days, we've sold five million dollar homes per day. Last year, let me look at my notes, we sold 4.5 homes per day that were over a million dollars. The market is still strong here in Vegas. Um, normally homes across the United States are staying on the market for about 22 days before going under contract. Here in Vegas, you know, a uh, good looking home is on the market for about seven to 22 days. It all depends what it looks like inside. You know, if you're willing to do a little fixer upping, you can get a little bit of a deal and that home may be in the market a little longer, the better looking homes inside are selling faster, but you're going to end up paying a little more. 
All right, that's a quick market look, uh, market report for 2022. Sorry for my little mistake there. This is Lucas Sells Vegas. All my information is down below. I have a video two or three per week. Let me know if you have any questions about the Vegas market or about moving anywhere in the United States. I can refer you a great agent or a mortgage person around this great country of ours. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. It helps out the ag algorithm and to make sure it gets out to the right people like yourself to help you buy and to feel confident in buying your next home, your first home, or a home for your family member. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.